What's up my friends, welcome back to the channel. Are you guys ready for your annual overdose of chocolate? Because we're celebrating Easter this weekend and we have prepared something special for you. We're gonna make white chocolate pina coladas. Yes, and believe me, it is delicious. And we're gonna make them two ways. One, a la minute, and we're also gonna clarify it so you can pre-batch it and then enjoy freely your boozy afternoon brunch. So guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, go grab your shaker, and let's get ready to get jacked up on sugar. Let's go. So, I was never a big fan of making cocktails just for special events, but when I do so, I try to make sure that it's gonna suit the team and also that it's gonna be good all year long. And here, the pina colada for me was a great candidate. It's a drink that we love. We love it in the summertime next to a pool. We also love it in the winter time to feel like we're in summer. Pretty much everybody loves a good pina colada and it's also kind of a guilty pleasure for a lot of people. And by adding a little bit of white chocolate in the mix, it just makes a great treat perfect for Easter. To make the cocktail today, we're gonna need one homemade ingredient. And I said white chocolate, coconut cream. Doesn't that sound good? Believe me, it is pretty amazing. And I swear, you're not gonna use that only for this recipe. I've already tried it in different cocktails and it was really good. I think I could even use it as a sauce on the chocolate cake. That sounds awesome. I'm gonna try that later. But anyways, to make the recipe today, we're gonna need three ingredients only. Coconut cream, white chocolate, and sugar. First, you're gonna warm up 200 mils of coconut cream. In that, you're gonna add 150 ml of granulated sugar and 100 grams of pure cacao butter white chocolate. You're gonna stir until everything is dissolved and then you can simply bottle it up. And this is how we make the white chocolate coconut cream deliciousness. For the occasion today, we're gonna serve our pina colada inside a chocolate. To do so, obviously, you're gonna need to make a hole in the chocolate. I simply warmed up the blade of my knife under hot water. That way, it was really easy to remove the hairs of my bunny. Also, I recommend you do that ahead of time. That way, your glassware will be ready when the cocktail will. Now, for the pina colada, you're gonna need white rum, our white chocolate coconut cream, fresh pineapple juice, and coconut milk. So first, in a cocktail shaker, we're gonna pour two ounces of white rum, three ounces of fresh pineapple juice, one ounce of our white chocolate coconut cream, and one ounce of coconut milk. We're gonna fill the shaker with ice and give it a good shake for about 10 seconds. Then through a funnel, we can strain the cocktail inside the chocolate. Here I'm using the Lindt chocolate bunny and I'm using the 200 gram size. It was perfect for the quantity of liquid that I had. Now for the garnish, I simply decided to go with pineapple fronds to bring back the ears of my little friend. And there you go my friends, this is how we make the white chocolate pina colada. Cheers! Honestly guys, this is amazing. The richness, the thickness, the texture from the white chocolate coconut cream is out of this world. And I don't know for you, but for me, white chocolate and coconut is probably my favorite flavor pairing. I just love it. And it goes really well with the pineapple and the rum as well. So overall, this is not like extremely far from a traditional pina colada. It's just a great one that also suits perfectly the team of Easter. But now, if you guys are lazy while you're boozy brunches, that you wanna have cocktails but don't wanna think about making them, I have an option for you. We're gonna clarify this, which will extend the shelf life of the cocktail so you'll be able to pre-batch it. That way you're simply gonna have to pour it out of a bottle whenever you need it. So for this one we're also gonna need white rum, our white chocolate coconut cream, fresh pineapple juice and coconut milk. We're also gonna need whole milk and a little bit of lime juice. So here I'm gonna make a double cocktail, but obviously if you wanna make a larger batch because you're gonna have a lot of friends over, you're simply gonna increase all the ingredients by the same ratio. But here for two cocktails, we're gonna start by pouring four ounces of white rum, six ounces of fresh pineapple juice, two ounces of our white chocolate coconut cream, and half an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. Then in another container, you're gonna pour two ounces of coconut milk and one ounce of whole milk. After, you're gonna pour your cocktail mixture over the milk mix and then you're gonna filter it through a coffee filter. 
The first drops are always cloudy, that's normal. You have to wait until the curdles are settled at the bottom of the filter. So when you feel the liquid dripping is clear, you can change the vessel and report the cloudy bits over the unfiltered mixture. Then it's a matter of time. You have to wait until the whole cocktail is clarified. So obviously don't do that only five minutes before happy hour. You will regret it. So when you're done with the filtration, you can bottle it up and place it in the fridge until you're ready to drink them. That's gonna leave you some time to prepare your glassware. It's Easter, so once again, we're gonna pour the cocktail inside the chocolate. And because it's a milk punch, I thought two little cows would be perfectly relevant. So to make those, I simply warmed up a bottle metal cap under hot water. This way, it was really easy to make an entrance for our delicious cocktail. Usually, we serve a milk punch over a big block of ice. This will add a little bit of dilution and extra chilling. But here, we serve the cocktail inside a chocolate without ice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour whatever amount we want inside a mixing glass. We're gonna fill it up with ice and give it a quick stir for about 10 seconds. Then we're gonna be able to pour it inside our chocolate and it's gonna be perfect. Once again, we're gonna garnish it with pineapple fronds, and there you go, my friends. This is how I make my Easter white chocolate clarified pina colada. Cheers. I also really love this version of the cocktail, but now because of the clarification, it's the pineapple the star of the show. It's now the dominant flavor, but we also get that great white chocolate. It simply arrives a little bit later in the back palette, but it's enhanced by the fact that we serve the cocktail inside the chocolate. For the texture, it's completely different than a traditional pina colada, and I love it. It's very surprising in a good way. It's super silky instead of being creamy. Honestly, it is lovely. That's pretty much what we love about Milk Punch. If you know, you know. Uh, before we end this video, guys, I would like to tell you, as I said, for me, these cocktails are great all year long. So if you want to serve them when it's not Easter for the Milk Punch, simply serve it over a big block of ice and grate a little bit of cacao or chocolate over it to enhance that chocolate flavor. For the traditional-ish pina colada, simply serve it over crushed ice and there you go. So guys, that's it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and happy Easter. Cheers. Hmm. <laughs> This is a chocolate cake with Fernet Branca. Sephra made it yesterday. It's insane. Mm. Comes from a pretty, pretty cool book. This book. So she tried two recipes so far. Both were amazing. This Fernet cake, amazing, delicious.